past year, Keanu has set himself ablaze, competitively winning a host of international comps, making him one of the most talked about young surfers today. What's up guys, I'm Keanu Singh, and today you guys are rolling with me. We're here at Wade Takoro's house, my shaper, the first stop. We're just gonna pretty much let him look at the board I was using at Bowls. It was a magic board and um, it's getting kind of beat up, so he's gonna take a look at it and uh, just try and remake a new one, try and make it exactly the same as the one I was using. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. He's surfing really good at this one. I tried to make a new one, but I don't know how this thing yet. I've been uh, making Keanu's boards for about uh, nine years right now. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a pleasure for me, an uh, honor to be working with somebody like him. His work ethic is one of the best that I've come across. And what's important is he gives me a lot of good feedback, which we can improve on boards. And the relationship we have, it's, it's really good. He always brings me into the shaping room and um, kind of teaches me about a little bit about boards and like what works and what kind of ways. And, this works in that kind of ways. After we checked out Wade's, we stopped in Kahalu and ate at Times Coffee Shop. Best fried rice, and best chicken. It was so good. I had the best grinds. Our plan after lunch was to wait for Zeke to get finished with school. He's got the broke thumb out grinds. So now we're gonna go to Kamehameha Schools and go pick up my buddy Zeke. And let's go, sir. Let's go. We're gonna surf half a foot Kiwalos. Zeke and the boys are still gonna rip. Today it's small, but surf here every day, no matter what. You big, small. Choppy, onshore, anything, and it still breaks somehow. So it's a good spot to serve every day. So me and Honor Boy always come. He picked me up. We go out there. Gonna realize you small kind, small time. I gotta make you realize you small kind, small time. Act right, kind. Face to face, little do you know? Like you face in your place, get the layout. Schematics, bro, you played out. That's automatic. Two days later, bus laughing. Took your stash so fast, you never knew what happened. What you expect? Camped out on the stash. Now just relax. I'll call him up in the morning and see if he's gonna go surf. And like, we're just like trying to plan it. Like how today was, pick me up and um, we can go surf. Usually, surf koalas or like North Shore or something. And it's been working out so far, so it's been sick. He just picks me up, we go surf, cruise, we go eat dinner, and then we go home, and then usually the next day is like almost the same. The sash was fun. Zeke was punting, Zeke was ripping, Tanner was ripping, he was reversing it. Keanu didn't do anything. <laughs> Small but fun. Oh, I just broke my leg. At least got in the water for a little bit. It's fun, I thought. Zeke broke his leg, <laughs> we're all good. <laughs> All right, we're here at Evolutionary Fitness Institute, and this is where I work out and do my core training. So let's go meet my trainer, David Moore, and let's go start working. Yeah, we just did a little bit of workouts and a little bit of training to get me back in my game. I consider Keanu an extreme athlete because he does something that combines strength, flexibility, and cardiovascular fitness. Everything we do, whether he's standing, seated, or supine, is on an unstable surface. And that way we can go through his core to address his needs. What we really emphasize is quality and balance with Keanu. But we also monitor his composition, which is his fat to muscle ratio. Because in what he does, I think he wants to look good out there too. I think with Keanu being on a surfboard, 
He's never in the same position, never in the same situation. Every wave is different. So we try and make his training the same way. Has a lot of variety. It addresses what he needs, but we still have a lot of fun. Yeah, now I'm training and doing all this kind of stuff. It's been paying off and been getting results. I won the World Juniors ISA 16 under in March. And then in California, I got the Pro Junior Nike peer pressure one. So, yeah, it's, it's been great. The training's been good and it's been helping me a lot. surf North Shore a lot too, and especially in the winter, like all my friends come from the outer islands and everyone pretty much stays up here for the winter break. So we all go surf and to surf like Rockies, VLAN, Pipe and stuff like that. So yeah, it's always fun to go surf all up here, just everywhere around the islands. So. With Keanu, it's, it's non-stop, it's just constantly busy. You spent a day in a life with Keanu. I spent 16 years in a day of a life with Keanu. So times that by 365 days, that's, that's quite a lot. But uh, it's always been busy, but it's always been joyful. The journey has been awesome. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to his journey in front of him. I'm sure that Keanu has grasped the hard work and ethic and the determination he puts into everything he has will determine his future and, and what's in front of him. Tahiti was so fun. I, it was just cool. The scenery and everything was, was insane. And I got to hang out with one of the, my favorite surfers, Jordy Smith, while I was there. And he was the coolest guy. Just watch him surf the contest. And it's just crazy. Like, just to watch him surf heats and how he prepares for his contest and what's his mental game. It's just, it was crazy. It's so cool. Thanks for spending a day in my life. Now I gotta take off and keep watching more Billabong Surf TV. Aloha.